My name is Danish Varhan. I run a company called Zisha Co. We're a strategic advisory firm based in Dubai and New York. Um, really exciting conversation. Um, some, some great opposing points of view, which always makes for a fun panel. I was originally meant to talk about content trends in the region, but I decided to dial it back up a little bit and talk about the dire lack of content at the moment, especially given that we're an Arabic speaking region, and yet the amount of uh, native content in Arabic is almost dismal. Uh, what can we do about it? What are the reasons behind it? Uh, the second point that I, I, I touched on is Dubai has always been extraordinary at telling stories because it has amazing stories to tell. Brands tend to shy away from telling stories because they think that you need to accomplish something in order to tell a story. But the hypothesis really is that you've got to start with a story, do something great, and then tell a story about what you've just done and then rinse and repeat. Uh, there are two major issues with the lack of Arabic content. One is brands tend to be incredibly lazy because they're not being measured to, in the originality of content. They're actually being measured on how quickly you can get your ad out on YouTube or Facebook. So therefore, there is no incentive in creating original content. All they tend to do typically, and I, I know I'm generalizing, is they take content from headquarters, slap it with some subtitles, and then launch it. Where is the cultural relevance of taking global content and serving it in a local market? The second is, uh, is laziness. I think people don't realize how much uh, gold you're sitting on in terms of culturally uh, relevant stories that you can, uh, you can leverage. Um, yeah, those are, the, those are the two challenges that we need to flip on, I think.